Have you, like me, bought some of these FIFA soccer legits and you're trying to figure out how much you can sell them for in other people's meta venture shops? Are you trying to flip these passes, mementos, rare legits for a profit and you just don't know how much the floor price is in order to get a quick sale? Well, I was like you for a long, long time and then I stumbled across this little known resource. I'm gonna show you that today and help you make the most out of your soccer legits. You can flip them for maximum profit while the World Cup is still going on and a very exciting Holliswood announcement with a contest for the channel. How's it going everybody? This is Radish Head and welcome back to another episode of Upland Analysis. As always I want to thank my executive level channel members Monopoly Mike, Matsuda R and Bad Frog. Thank you very much for your support of the channel. What is this that I'm looking at right now? We are in the Holliswood node and this is a showroom that has been built by another channel contributor, HH Toy Boy, located at 8759 Dunton Street. It is fully complete. You can see there's some nice decorations outside of it. And it has been submitted to Upland as a fully functioning decor showroom. It's going to be called Holliswood Outdoor Decor. So that is going to be a fantastic addition to our node. For those of you who aren't aware, what we're all ultimately aiming for is that we want Holliswood to uh, kind of spawn its own collection and part of that is influenced by businesses such as showrooms and meta ventures being created inside your neighborhood so this effort here by HH Toy Boy is a fantastic addition to the node However, as I'm sure you're aware, it's not all uh, easy breezy uh, setting up your own showroom in Upland. There's certain criteria you have to meet. And I'm going to be calling on your artistic talent to help us find three uh, backgrounds that we need to submit alongside our application for Holliswood Outdoor Decor. So you can be as creative as you like. Um, we need three images. The information should be up on the screen now. We need a homepage background that pops up when you click on the showroom. And that's got to be an 891 by 600 pixel PNG file. And then two different images that will pop up um, when you sort of enter the shop itself. So sort of the background as you're scrolling through. And there's a desktop one and then there's a mobile one. The portrait one, which I think goes on mobile, has to be 1080 by 1920 PNG file. And the desktop background is a 1920 by 1080 uh, pixel PNG file. So that's three images. I'm going to set up a special contest channel on the Discord. Get your submissions in. For those who submit um, our favourite of each of the three, obviously you get the glory of having your images used. But um, I'm sure there'll be another reward that I just haven't thought up yet. <laughs> so um, I'll come back to you with that. If you could please submit your um, entries by the end end of next week, so that'll be the 18th of December. That'll make sure that we have them all ready in time for this uh, showroom to go live very soon, hopefully. So there you go, hope that's an interesting one. Holliswood in general is developing extremely well. I've been thrilled to see. I think we're almost at 40% uh, complete now. Of course, when we do hit 40%, I'm going to give away uh, 40,000 Upix to a random Holliswood resident, so please keep an eye out for that. Now, on to the main topic of the video, which is about football, and this also applies to NFLPA Legits, because I know a lot of you watching do own a lot of those as well, and it can be quite tricky knowing just how much um, your Legits are worth. Now, especially the uh, the soccer one, since it is, uh, you know, World Cup season, and a lot of people have been making some decent uh, upics flipping those. But I'm just going to zoom in on Manhattan here, and I'm going to click on a football legit shop, uh, Ruhr Potelden. <laughs> Maybe I should have chosen the one that was easier to pronounce. But uh, yeah, if you click shop now, wow, there's some crazy variants. So. How much is a uh, a pass worth? Is it 23,000 Upix? Is it 89,000 Upix? Is it 30,000? How much is a, uh, a shirt worth? This one's 36,000. It's rare. Is that a good deal? I've got no idea. This crest is rare. That's 52,000. Is that a good deal? 
Like, it's overwhelming. This is just within one shop. How are you supposed to know how much to list your legits for if all across different shops and within the same shop, there's so many different prices? Well, I have found a resource that can help you with exactly that. Now, if I jump across here, it is the Football Search Hub. Um, Howard Beach proudly presents. Howard Beach, of course, being a popular node in Queens. So, of course, I've got to give them a shout out there. Um, yeah, fantastic resource they've created here. If you just go to ablend.me, look, there's all of these different ones. I didn't even know some of these existed. There's the Node Manager, Scavenger Hunts, NFLPA Search, Football Search, Car Search. How much is your car worth? You can easily search it here. I'm going to go on the football one, but this works just as well for the NFLPA hub as well. If you click the football hub, this is also a fantastic way to actually find football FIFA shops to sell your stuff because I know that's a little bit of a pain having to zoom in and see, is this a block explorer shop? Is this an NFL shop? Nobody really knows. If I happen to be located in Chicago, I will be able to see there is only one shop in Chicago, it's Football Frenzy. Where is it? Well, there you go, it pops up right here. Football Frenzy, 652 West Roscoe Street, Chicago. This resource, it needs to be official, quite frankly. Um, I'm a massive fan of this. That's a fantastic way if you're looking for shops. What if you own legit and you want to sell them? You don't care, you know, which shop you're going to. You just want to make sure that you're pricing them competitively so that the shop owners will accept them. And when they go up in the shop, they'll sell quickly. How much are you selling them for? Well, obviously it all depends on a few different factors. So let's say we're just selling in Upix, for example. We're not worried about people selling for USD. That's a totally different market. Um, season is obviously all seasons. Um, you can filter it on whether it's shirts, passes. What about passes? That'd be interesting. So we click on that. The only thing, as far as I can tell, that it doesn't do automatically is um, it doesn't allow you to filter. Oh no, it does. So there you go. That looks like a mistake. 1,000, what? 100 Upix? <laughs> that might be a, um, that might be in dollars instead. I'm not sure. I'll ignore these three. This looks about right to me. So a Group G pass, the absolute minimum that these are selling for is about 17, 18,000 Upix. So if you want to flip them fast, 17, 18,000 Upix is the way to go. What if you have, I don't know, uh, rare legit, because that isn't just limited to a ball or a shirt or a crest. There's lots of different ones, right? But they're all called rare. So let's just filter by rare and see what's the absolute cheapest rare legit. It's a poster, there's 80 max supply and it's selling for 20,000 Upix. Now, of course, um, some of these rare uh, legit's are actually rarer than others. You can see the max supply for that one is 80. So um, I think that's about as common as they get. But some of them are as, as low as uh, 20 max mints, I believe. So let's just say it's a rare and there's only 20 of them. What's the cheapest then? Uh, so filter on that. I'm not sure if that's working quite as I intended, but if I just scroll down here, you can see the cheapest one with a max current supply of 20 is selling for 26,000 and that is a rare crest in San Francisco. So this is firstly a great way of, um, if you're trying to fill out some of your collections, because don't forget if you fill out all 50 of the FIFA collections, you'll be able to get a, um, a very rare block explorer. So if you're in the running for that, this is a great resource to do so. And if you just have a few FIFA legits that you're looking to flip, but you don't know how much to flip them for, well, there you go. If you happen to own a crest and you want to sell it quickly, about 25, 26,000 uh, seems to be a pretty good price. The next cheapest crest is 31,000. So maybe this is a bit of a, uh, an anomaly in terms of how cheap it is. It's up to you. Something else that you can do, which is really cool. If I just go back to filtering on rare, you can download this content. So if I just click on this button here, and um, just pop it up on my screen, you'll get some information like this. And of course you can filter this however you like. Absolutely fantastic. Um, you can filter out, you know, whatever currencies you want. Let's say just dollars. 
and uh, we'll sort it smallest to largest in terms of price. What is the cheapest dollar uh, legit? It looks like it's $14.7 for a rare Uruguay fourth place shirt. If you want to buy it, it tells you where it is. It's that Rue Potelden in uh, Manhattan. <laughs> um, and if you want to sell one, then there you go. That's the sort of target price you're looking for, about $15. So that's just a quick video. This is not sponsored. I just kind of stumbled across this and um, I think it's a really, really useful tool. It's um, ablend.me. The link's gonna be in the description, in the comment as well. Don't forget to submit your art for the uh, amazing Holliswood showroom that's coming up. And I want to thank my executive and director level channel members, Monopoly Mike, Bad Frog, Matsuda R, HH Toy Boy, Tashar Zing, and Rasmus Bro. Thank you so much for your ongoing support of the channel. Everybody, I hope you found this one very useful. Keep an eye out for more videos in the near future. And until then, I'll see you later.